food webs are diagrams that show all of the different food chains in an ecosystem. Because many species are a part of more than one food chain, it's easier to study all of the relationships between producers and consumers in an ecosystem using a food web. Because food webs show multiple food chains, they can give you more information about a specific population. For instance, some organisms might be primary consumers in one food chain, but in a different food chain, they're secondary consumers. You can't see this with a food chain. You can only see this with a food web. Notice that this also makes mice omnivores because they're eating corn and crickets. Omnivores are an example of something that can be shown with a food web, but not a food chain. Notice that the birds are also omnivores because they eat corn and moths and crickets. This information shows birds being a part of three different food chains. Food webs also make it easier to see competitive relationships. For example, birds, lizards, and mice all eat crickets. This means that all of these populations have a competitive relationship over this food source. This can only be seen with food webs and is an information that's provided by a food chain. Even though a food web shows more information than a food chain, they don't always give a complete picture of the interactions in an ecosystem. For example, this food web doesn't show decomposers, even though decomposers are an important part of every ecosystem. But even if food webs don't show a complete picture, they still provide great information about the populations within an ecosystem.